everybody. Thanks for staying up with us. Welcome back inside Sports Sunday. I'm honored to be joined by a legend in his own right. 20 years managing the Los Angeles Dodgers. And in that time, he had two World Series wins, four pennants, and he's also a Hall of Famer. Tommy Lasorda joining me now. Tommy, it's such an honor to have you here in Wichita for the Johnny Bench Awards. Wow. But it sounded like, you know, maybe it's more of an honor for you to be working with your good friend Johnny. And how close of a connection do you guys still have, even after having to play against him for so many years? Yeah, well, uh, we go to the we go to the inductions every year, mm -hmm. and I think it's great when we, all the Hall of Famers go there, and Johnny's there, and I'm there, and all of them are there, and it's it's quite a sight to see all those guys coming back for this. Uh, induction time and that's the reason why it is and you look at you look at all the guys who were selected into the Hall of Fame they're all great people there are great people who played the game with great uh, desire and great intensity and that that's how they got into the Hall of Fame they were they were great players and Johnny Bench was a it was a sign of that there was no better guy got behind home plate than Johnny Bench. So when I had the opportunity to come here to be the speaker for his award, I accepted it real quick from Bob because uh, it meant a lot to me to be here with Johnny. Now, you said earlier you have a lot of respect for him as well, not just as a player, but now as a friend. What are some stories you guys share, or some favorite memories you guys have of, of being on the same field? Well, I, uh, we did a TV show called The Baseball Bunch. Mm -hmm. And it was Johnny's uh, show, and I was a part of it. I was the wizard. At the end, the, 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 the major league player would work with the young kids. And at the end, they say, well, let's see what the wizard has to say about this. And then I had the big hat, the wizard hat, and the smoke coming out, and, and I would give the kids a message that they should try to live by. Mm -hmm. And Johnny, it was Johnny's show. Johnny did a fantastic job. And I wish they could have continued. I think it was great for the youngsters. And I have so much respect for Johnny. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he asked to be, be in it, so I felt good about that. Now, you spend the better part of six decades with the L.A. Dodgers organization slash Brooklyn Dodgers when they were there. And uh, nowadays, six months is a long time for a player to stay with a team. It seems like what, is, what has kept you with the Dodgers for so long, and why does it seem like there's so much change now in baseball between teams and there's no loyalty? Well, I thought, I thought that the uh, Dodgers were the greatest organization in baseball. And, I, and, I, and I, as long as I was able to stay, when they had me, I was ready. I was ready to do everything or anything to uh, to stay within the organization. And I, I managed in the lowest league, rookie league, and got to the major leagues. And uh, I played. When I played, I started in the lowest league and played enough to get. I got to the major leagues. So the Dodger organization is uh, it's a. Uh, great institution you see if you say if you're talking to somebody and he says I'm with the Padres you might think he's going to be a priest or you talk to somebody who says he's, he's an Indian you ask him what reservation are you from or you talk to somebody who says they're a twin you say where's your brother or sister but when you say you talk to somebody and he says I'm a cardinal you say we're card next step is to be the Pope but when somebody says they're with the Dodgers you know immediately Major League Baseball the Dodgers one of the best ballparks I've ever been to I tell you is Dodger Stadium out in LA you know also with you know all-star game is coming to Kansas City this year it's be here this summer and you spent your better share of in the all-star game but the change you were talking about as well with it now deciding home field advantage some people like it some people don't and you seem to be pretty pro home field advantage to add some competition well if they thought about a couple of years ago when the game wound up in a tie and they had no more pitchers left you talk to those people who had to leave that ballpark with no decision made who won or who lost and that that was terrible for the fans to have to sit through that and not see a winner and a loser so the commissioner thought well we're going to get some push we're going to get some players to really play hard if they have to be able to get something that's beneficial to them. So he come up with the idea of you get the, um, 
you get the home field advantage uh, with the, uh, with the, 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 between the two legs. And I think it's great. Now you see these guys go out and they play hard now. They play like we used to play. We went there, we went to the National League one reason, and that's to beat the American League. We want to be known better than the American League. We wanted to say we had the best players than the American League. And that's what it meant to us. Guys like Johnny and those guys, they played the game. They played the whole game if you wanted them to. And they played hard. They played to win. We had to beat the American League, and we did. I was on the I was on the string of of wins. We had won we had won uh, I think 11 or 12 in a row. Mm -hmm. I I managed in five of them. So we we had uh, we had uh, yeah we had managed we won 11 in a row. So that's what uh, that's what it meant to us beat the American League show them we got the best ball players and that's how it went spending the better part of 60 years in Major League Baseball especially all with the Dodgers you've seen a lot of changes obviously one would be home field advantage in the all-star game the the changing of how high the mound is the pitchers mound heck lights at Wrigley that was a huge change yeah. but most recently the biggest change is the extended playoff and adding a few teams in the wild card how do you feel about that and do you think that's messing with it too much and going too far well listen when they played interleague I didn't I didn't like it mm -hmm. I didn't like interleague but when they put the wild card in, I thought that was a great move because in the month of September, you may be 11 games out of first place. You got no chance to be in the pennant or no chance to be in the playoffs, but yet you've got a chance to be the wild card. So more fans will continue to come out in September than normal. So that's why I think it was so great. It brought a lot more people to the game because some of the teams, one time there was 11, 11 or 12 teams with both legs had the chance for the wild card. And I think that's great. But I didn't like interleague play uh, because, I'll tell you why. Because in the World Series, it was the purest World Series of any sport because you didn't play against the American League. But in basketball, they play against each team. Football, the same thing. And hockey's the same thing. Baseball was the only pure World Series. And they ruined that. <laughs> they sure did ruin it, didn't they? Yeah, I think they did. Well, Tommy, I'm pretty sure I could sit here for two hours and not even break the tip of the amount of stories you have to tell. Thank you so much for your time. And have a great time while you're in Wichita. Really oh, yeah. appreciate it. I'm honored. I used to come back here and play when I was with them. Um, when I was with Denver, mm -hmm. that pitch there was so hot. The times, I can remember one time I came here to play, and I was supposed to pitch that night. And in the afternoon, I was walking the street, and I saw a dog chasing a cat, and they were both walking. So, that's how hot it got. <laughs> that's how hot it is right now. I tell you that much. All right, thank you so much again, Tommy. We are back in just a minute with our parting shots. Stay with us.